What is up everybody? How you doing today? My name is David Franco and welcome back to What Sold on eBay. This is officially episode 10. Guys, we did it. We did it. Not that 10 is like a huge number. I mean, it's not like this is episode 100. I don't know if I'll make it that far. Hopefully I will. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing next week, you know? Uh, but the fact that you guys seem to be enjoying the series, it just, it just means a lot to me. Thank you. And yeah, I realize... I'm not even gonna hit like 2,000 views on each episode, except for episode one, because people were more curious then. Uh, but views are not really important to me, you know? I mean, it's, it's the fact that I'm making money selling used stuff and new stuff and that, but at the same time, I'm being transparent. And transparency to me has always been incredibly important. Uh, so I just wanna make that clear. Like, if you guys are enjoying these videos, thank you so much, and please don't forget to click that like button. It really does help a lot. Uh, because a lot of time goes into videos like this one. Anyway, guys, I did not have a chance to make episode 10 last week. I was just more focused on other things. Uh, but we are here. We're doing this. So let's jump into it. And to make up for lost time last week, instead of showing 10 items, we're showing 12 items. Let's go. And as always, I do have my spreadsheet on the right. So I'm going to try to give you transparent data, actual numbers based on profit, how much I spent, shipping cost, eBay fees, all that good stuff. So grab a coffee, grab a snack, and enjoy. Let's do this. First up is this, guys, a brand new in the box. I was so tempted to keep this for myself, but I have enough LEDs as it is. Like, But um, yeah, at the same time, I was shocked to see this because I was really surprised no one else bought it. This is a new in the box 10 Miro. Hopefully I said that right. 65 foot LED kit. Honestly, there's nothing special about this kit. It's just a typical LED kit. But the fact that it was brand new, I just had to buy it. Uh, I think I spent $10 on this, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. And I never put the data in. David, well done. What a great way to start this video. What is wrong with me? I don't know. Guys, I, I get caught up in packaging everything I sell because I sell a lot of things. And sometimes I just forget certain items. And well, one of those certain items just happened to be this. But hey, guys, a $21 sale plus $5 shipping, $10 purchase. We're not looking at a ton of profit here. Which is funny because I actually put in my shipping cost. It was $8.22 and I only charged five. So I profited maybe like a few dollars. Anyway, this was a very exciting sale. This is Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, the second Cataclysm for Sega CD. This is my game or was my game. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, but yeah, I was, I was an owner of the Sega CD. Technically I still do own it. I don't know where it is. Hopefully I still have it. And there were many games that I just didn't care about. I mean, obviously there were a few games that I did care about like Sewer Shark and Night Trap. Oh my God. I remember Night Trap. Night Trap was so good guys. It was so cheesy, but it was so good. Anyway, one of the games I didn't care about is this Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. And what do you know, it was actually worth some good money. I don't have data on the right because this was not a true flip. This is my own personal item. But I will say, I believe they paid full price. And if they didn't, then they probably paid like $72 plus shipping. Um, so at the end of the day, minus fees are probably being made like 60 something dollars off of a game that was otherwise just sitting there. And guys, it was an excellent, excellent condition. Um, and of course, I included the little foam thing that Sega always included in their games, which is pretty cool. So definitely a pretty, pretty cool flip. Okay, this is a true flip. This I got from Goodwill. This is the Sony RDR-GX330 DVD, wait for it, recorder. Guys, I say this every time I make these videos. DVD recorders go for a lot of money. Anytime you see them, seriously, pick them up, comp them on eBay, and you'll usually profit quite a bit of money. Now, this one wasn't like super profitable, but it was still profitable. Uh, so anyway, let me see this Sony RDR, uh, what do we get, GX. It is, let me see, it's right here. It cost me $5, guys, $5 at Goodwill. Final sale was $58.57, including shipping. eBay fees, $5.90. Shipping costs. This I lost some money on, definitely. I definitely lost a little bit of money on because... I think I charged a flat rate of $8.99, as you can see there. Yeah, I don't believe that was calculated because the shipping cost me $24.75. Clearly, I underestimated. Usually, I overestimate, meaning I'll put like the weight higher or the overall width and length and all that stuff much higher than it normally is. 
uh, but in this case, I didn't. Anyway, overall net profit, $22.93 off of a $5 purchase. Not bad, not bad. Now, of course, I could have made more money if I calculated shipping correctly, but I think maybe at some point I just wanted to get this sold. I I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe it's the fact that I included no cables, like literally no cables, not even a power cable. So maybe that's why I let it go for so cheap. Okay, Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, complete with insert. I think I found this at that reuse it shop in New Holland, PA or one of those shops. I don't think I got this at Goodwill. Anyway, this I got for, let me see. I got it. Yeah. Okay. $2.50. I say it like that because it's very rare that I find something at Goodwill for, yeah, that half a dollar mark. You know, in other words, $2.50, $1.50. So this is definitely from reuse it, which is another thrift shop. Very beautiful thrift store. And I gotta, I gotta go there again soon. Anyway, guys, I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. Final sale. Get this, fifty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. I don't know what it is, but some of these Need for Speed games are worth some good money, guys. Good money. Uh, eBay fees seven dollars and five cents. My shipping cost four dollars and forty-two cents. So cheap to ship, and as you can see, I made money on shipping, which is very nice. Overall profit after you factor in everything. $38.98, yeah, off of something that cost me less than $3. Not bad at all. Heart of Darkness for the PS1. This actually went to a viewer. Shout out to Lawrence. Thank you so much for the sale. This is actually a very sought after game. And guys, this was actually my game. So Heart of Darkness complete with 3D glass, uh, glasses. Look, you actually got 3D glasses included. Where's, it, where's a better picture? Here we go. And of course you can see the, all the oil marks and whatever because it was obviously a very, very old game. Uh, but he paid full price. Laurent, thank you so much. And guys, this was a global shipping sale, which means it shipped out of the U.S. I don't pay extra for that. Laurent paid extra for that. Um, but global shipping is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. Anyway, I sold it for $65 plus shipping. Uh, so after fees and everything, I probably made like lower 60s, maybe higher 50s. So not bad at all. Confidential Mission, another personal game of mine. A game I never really cared about, honestly. I do recall playing this a little bit on the Dreamcast, but in my opinion, it was never nearly as fun as House of the Dead was. Like, guys, House of the Dead. Please tell me you guys have played House of the Dead. It was so incredible. And this is back when light gun games were a thing. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why light gun games just lost popularity. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. Um, but, yeah, um, this was an okay game from what I recall. But for whatever reason... It's worth some money. So I sold it for $72 plus $5 shipping. Although there is a good chance I let Best Offer go for $65. And yes, I actually can see that data, but I don't want to bring it up right now because I would show everyone's, you know, personal information. Okay, <clears throat> this was a pretty good flip. This is an RCA VR349 VCR. Nothing really special about it. Just just a VCR. I mean, I don't I don't think it did anything too, too unique. Uh, but I did get this for $10 at Goodwill. Final sale, $58.17. eBay fees, $5.93. My shipping cost, $13.17. So I probably lost a little bit of money on shipping. But overall profit, $29.08. Off of a VCR that cost me $10. So guys, that means I got my $10 back plus $29.08. Not bad at all. This one I just sold the other day. This is a Spark Creates Imagine Teddy Bear. I think a viewer actually bought this for me. Thank you so much for your for your business. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, let me find this in my spreadsheet. This I found at Goodwill for, let me see if I can spell Spark. I spelled the word speak correctly. Spark Create. It turns out I have another Spark Create plush that I haven't sold yet, but this one obviously sold. This is a 19 inch dinosaur plush. Guys, this is such a cool plush. That hood you see right there actually came off. Like you can actually take the hood off, which is really cool. For some reason I didn't include that in the photo. Uh, but I just, I just, I just thought that was a really, really neat feature. Anyway, I got this for two dollars and ninety nine cents, and I didn't put the data in. Well done, David. Well done. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Six dollars twenty eight cents shipping. So you, you can guess the math in your head. But hey, guys, it's the fact that I found a plush for three dollars, and I flipped it for about twenty plus shipping. It's incredible. It's incredible. The money adds up, guys. Okay, this is my own personal game. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for the 3DS, brand new in the packaging, never opened, and I don't know why. David, past David, yo, I'm asking you right now, why did you never open this game? I don't know, maybe because I just, I just wasn't that intrigued by it, 
but I'm glad I didn't open it because this this sold within like I think 24 hours of listing it. Sold it for $39 plus $420 shipping. I kind of did that on purpose, $420 as you know, like blaze up because vacuum sucking, like smoke and dust going everywhere. I don't know. I thought it was funny, but hey, guys, it sold. All right, new in the box. A viewer definitely bought these. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. This was a really good flip. So if you watched my last weekend vlog, I showed these in, in, in that vlog. These are, or were, because they're not mine anymore, these were brand new in the box Harry Potter figures plus postcard books. Apparently, they were worth some good money. Um, I got four of them in total for $19.96. Goodwill actually had six of them, but I didn't want to buy all six just in case. Now I'm thinking I should have bought all six. Anyway, uh, they sold for $76 final sale. Guys, I charged a dollar shipping. A dollar shipping. Because I figured if somebody's willing to pay $75, Maybe they'll be like, oh, well, it's only, a, you know, like a dollar shipping, so I'll bite. Why not? And it worked. So very cool. $76 final sale. eBay fees, $9.42. My shipping cost $12.25. So obviously I lost money on shipping, but I built that into the final sale, you know? And um, net profit, $34.37 off of these small figures. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay. Another personal item of mine. Yes, I go through my phases where I go through my storage. I'm like, David, you're never going to play this. And guys, that's the best advice I can give you. If you're looking to get started on eBay, look around you, sell your stuff. Because I promise you, if you have video games or movies sitting in boxes that you haven't touched for literally years, there's a really good chance you're never going to touch them again. Seriously, guys, list them on eBay. Easy money. Anyway, NES Remix Pack for the Wii U Complete Inbox. Of course, that always means the case is there, the manual is there. Actually, in this case, it's not even real manual. That's all they gave you back then, and that's all you really still get kind of nowadays. And the disc itself was in excellent, excellent condition. And by barely played, I mean maybe I played this like once or twice, honestly, guys. But hey, $39 plus $5 shipping, I'll take it. Okay, the final sale of today was... One of my most profitable items of all time. This is a Toshiba D, give it a D, dash R560 DVD recorder. How many times do I have to tell you guys this? If you see DVD recorders, don't just look at them. Don't just look at them, all right? Pick them up, comp them, sell them on eBay because they're worth some good money. That's the last time I'm going to tell you guys that today. Maybe, just maybe, I will tell you guys again next week. But seriously, what are you doing if you're seeing this and you're not doing anything about it? You are missing out on some easy, easy money. So D-R. Here we go. D. Actually, that's a, that's a different one. So this is the second DVD recorder I sold from Toshiba. The first one, I made $39, I'm sorry, $36.90 profit. This one, I got for $5, right? $5. Final sale, including shipping, $110. Now, got to be honest, for some reason, I charged, look at this, a flat rate of $25 shipping. Clearly, I overestimated big time, but whoever bought this obviously had no problem buying, I mean, spending that cost on shipping because, guys, I'll tell you this, shipping cost me $9.95. So I made roughly, what, $15 on shipping? That, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, so there's, there's a tip for you. There's nothing wrong with overcharging on shipping, especially tech. Well, because people will typically pay said price if they really, really want something, especially this unit. Maybe it wasn't that um, popular on eBay. And by that, I mean, maybe there weren't other listings like mine. Anyway. Uh, shipping cost $9.95. eBay fees $10.79. Net profit off of a $5 purchase. Let me say that one more time. A $5 purchase. $84.27. I say this every week, guys. I am nobody special. But, man, does it feel good to make money on eBay? Because I'll tell you this right now. May has been a very tight month for me. 
in regards to catching up on bills and taxes because I had to pay state taxes. I had to pay my CPA yeah, for her fee because obviously she does a lot to save me money. Oh, and also my medical bills and with my teeth. I got a lot of dental work coming up. Guys, come here. Come here. Full screen it. I'm just saying selling on eBay has significantly helped me this month. I've been very stressed, but if it wasn't for eBay, I would be more stressed. Honestly, guys, eBay has been making a big, big difference in helping me pay certain things off. But at the same time, that's the whole point of having a side hustle, isn't it? It's creating a side income to make your life easier. So if you're stressed for money and you have junk, you know, quote unquote junk, just sitting around the house, comp it on eBay, list it, make some money. I am nobody special. And I'm going to say that every week until you guys start doing the same. Get your stuff on eBay and make some easy good money it's not hard anyway i've talked enough thank you so much for watching this is officially the closing of what's sold on ebay episode 10 if all goes well i will see you guys next week for episode 11 but i gotta be honest i've made zero sales yesterday and i've made zero sales today so it, it's, it's been a very slow past two days for me so i'm hoping things pick up by the weekend either way i'll see you soon thank you so much stay safe out there make that money Peace. Don't forget to look for DVD recorders. Okay, that's the last time.